Hello fourth year students today we start with the first chapter of the English modern essays book which is Pakistan and the modern world but before that let's get to know about the author of this essay who was Liaquat Ali Khan Liaquat Ali Khan the first prime minister of Pakistan was very close to Qaeda Azam during the Muslim struggle for the creation of Pakistan undoubtedly he was a capable statesman and a great orator He worked day in and day out for the welfare of Pakistan. Unfortunately, in October 1951, he was assassinated by a fanatic at a public meeting in Rawalpindi. He worked for the creation of Pakistan tirelessly when he was alive. His profound love and service for Pakistan makes him one of the greatest heroes of our country. Pakistan and the Modern World is Aliaquat Ali Khan's speech that he delivered at Kansas University during his visit to United States of America when he got an honorary degree from the university. This exceptional speech centered around the fact that Pakistan is a newly formed country which came into existence on 14th of August 1947. Before partition, Pakistan was just a far-fetched dream. It was part of the vast subcontinent which was inhabited by 100 million Muslims and 300 million Hindus. The Hindus were in clear majority in the undivided British rule. The Muslims feared that if India got freedom, they would perpetually had to live as a minority under the rule of Hindus. To be truly free meant that Muslims had to fight for a separate homeland where they could freely practice and profess their religion and culture. and that was the main idea behind the demand for a separate entity which was later named as Pakistan the muslims feared that their culture would be tainted under the hindu domination it was not just for the religious difference but in almost every aspect of life the hindus were starkly different from muslims the hindus believed in caste system while the muslims believed in equality of all men the muslims believe in the right of private ownership for everyone whether man or woman The Muslims have law of inheritance and economic institutions while the Hindu laws are designed to promote the accumulation of wealth. Hence their coexistence in a single state was a big question. It was for all these reasons that the Muslims demanded a separate homeland and it was a just demand. Therefore a separate country for Muslims meant freedom and self-government. The demand for Pakistan also promised Hindus freedom from the discontent of a large and unmanageable minority. It was under these circumstances that Pakistan came into being. In this speech, Liaquat Ali Khan desired that the West should share its great fund of knowledge, skill and expertise with countries like Pakistan, where the people were quite backward and economically unstable at that time. He urged that it was the duty of the West to maintain peace in the world and condemn aggression everywhere and take steps to prevent them. He also inspired the people of Pakistan to work harder in order to catch up with the advanced nations to safeguard their independence and achieve their rightful and honorable place in the world. Liaquat Ali Khan also stressed on the benefits of democracy as a successful mode of running a country and how it can, it can confer progress to a country by exemplifying successful western nations. After the brief summary of this exemplary essay, let's look into the most important quotations of this essay. And finally it's time for the important questions with regard to your university examinations. Question number 1 would be briefly state the main reasons given by Liaquat Ali Khan for the Muslims desire not to continue living in United India. Question number 2, what main differences does Liaquat Ali Khan pointed out between Hindus and Muslims? Question number 3, what is the synthesis that Liaquat Ali Khan believes is necessary for Pakistan to achieve? And finally, what does he put forward as the two main duties today? for the western world